Welcome. I'm your host, Robert Wilson, with Cowboy Wisdom Podcasts, presenting seven ways why I rose out of my thinking, knowing mind. I'm awakened and aware of the dare to admit thinking and knowing keeps my mind busy with yesterday's happening, indoctrinated education of what other people want me to know, and a business world filled with uh, enslaving mindsets that are, are that are stuck inside my thinking, knowing minds that wound wound and bound me in knowledge and all thoughts being. From uh, there, from the outside sources that trained my brain of egotistical arrogance, know-it-all ignorance. So I awakened to understand we have educated the here and now with what other people want us to know. Opened up a new foresight that wisdom, insight, and understanding are the present moment, and that's all there is. And something I really understand about thinking and knowing. It really keeps your your mind busy, but you live in the memories of yourself. But they're not memories because they're here and now. You know, if we lived on thinking and knowing, we'd still be on the wagon trains just leaving St. Louis, Missouri, trying to come across the mountains. If you want to control a society, you educate them with your philosophies. And you ingrain it to like, and then you spin it in the media that, oh, education and business is all there is. And if you look at the world today, business and education has got us where. But the really the part I really understand about education and the current society and, and the third world enslaved mindset is, is like putting a frog in cold water over a fire. And as you turn on and make turn the fire up, the frog will sit there until it becomes till its life's over. And that's kind of the way I look at today is is we're sitting in the same mindsets, thinking and knowing since the beginning of time, just with different flavors of things. And that is something I awakened to a long time ago, but I really understand I'm going to think and know my way to yesterday. Because thinking, knowing, and knowledge is from yesterday. And when an expert speaks, it's from the past. And they very seldom ever go in with foresight. And they go in right where they are. And and you will think and know your way to yesterday as knowledge will leave you on the side of the road looking for something, some way to get out of it, as wisdom will show you a way to move on and go. See, thinking and knowing is like having a flat tire. You go down the road, have a flat tire, go across the median, come back, and you're sitting there. All you really think and know is you have a flat tire. You have the knowledge to jack the car up. But with wisdom, insight, and clarity, you jack the car up, change the tire, and you're on your way. Because you'd be surprised at how many people have never changed their own tires. That is very limited, but, you know, and something else, thinking and knowing will never show for you, will never let you go get out of chaos, challenges, adversity, and controversy. Wisdom, insight, and clarity, and questions will rise you out of the chaos because chaos adversity and controversy and challenges are awakenings to show for you onto your beaches of relaxation and something else i've really really and i really pay, paid attention to this I, I i can never think and listen at the same time i can hear but i can never listen and listen is a in it listens comes down the the gold mine the gold vein of fame that goes right down here. This is your gold vein of fame right here. And see, we all try to do it up here. And once you realize the head is pretty much a pain in the butt. Because when you're thinking, 
And you taught yourself to think, I taught myself to think in selfishness, revenge thinking, rather than listen and question the way through life. I was always kind of insecure. Not kind of insecure, damn insecure. But I really opened up to the only way you get it through insecurity and immaturity and all your comfort zone limitations is listen to the invitation, streaming trend setting energy, naturally rising to your liminal carpet glide. glide. You want to listen with a liminal invitation. And liminal is above the threshold of where you've always been. And if you really get to paying attention to today, you realize we're stuck in yesterday. We've been trying to do the same things for so long, and we've really went nowhere in life. We're trying to do this and trying to do that, but we're never listening and expanding through it. Try as crying are truly really yucky like yesterday. But when you listen and innovate the present moment, the rise of wisdom, insight, clarity, trusting that internal intuition, imagination, innovation, and inventor's lure inside yourself. See, that's something I really opened up to, is thinking and knowing shuts off the free-flowing energy, imagination, innovation, spirit, savvy, Spirit savvy, intuition, inspiration, wisdom, and insight and clarity. Because when you're busy thinking about what's going on, your subconscious frozen mind, frozen in time representation of what's happened in the past and the way you've done everything, they control you. Hell, they do me. Even though I have to, I've asked them to leave, they kind of like hanging around. They say it's warm or cool in the summer and and nice and warm in the winter. And I said, no, it's time for you to go. Because we are our own worst enemies. And see, an enemy isn't an enemy until you think and think he's an en enemy. See, all the unsavory stuff we have to think and know. You can never listen and have an enemy. But you can think and know an enemy. That's the thing about rising out of thinking and knowing. You start having a flow of forthright, liberating, optimism, optimistic wisdom. And that's the thing about wisdom. Wisdom's detached from everything. But wisdom is come wisdom is attained from getting your hands dirty in life experiences. And see, that's what the computers and stuff have done is they took the getting your hands dirty in life away from us because we're always trying to use the computers or AI or something to move our life forward. But that is a big thing. When you open up to understand, you think you know your way to yesterday with my subconscious mind frozen in time, emotions, feelings, all the other stuff that happened are my comfort zone. And that comfort zone is a thief. It'll steal your dreams. See, all a dream is isn't a big thing and it's not outrageous. A dream is beyond your thinking, knowing, memory, mind, knowledge, and thoughts. Do you ever realize all your thoughts come from what happened yesterday? When you open to let go of thoughts and open to revelations, you start rising out of yesterday. Start rising to your intuitive wizardry and landscape to rise out of yesterday. People, you're so talented. That's something I can never explain to people enough. You're totally talented. But your thinking, knowing mind will never rise you to your sleek, unique talents because your thinking mind is like being in a prison because it's in a box of what you think and know, and everything beyond that has you afraid. And see, the big something I discovered, and this is going to be a class uh, tomorrow or next week, we're more afraid of our daily life and all the people in it than we are everything else. 
we're afraid of our own talents. We're afraid of our wisdom, knowledge, because we were taught through a school system that somebody else knew what was best for us. And insight and clarity and intuition, it has no use for outside sources. And when somebody says they have a program for you, they're trying to program you into their stuff. Programs are just shambles of what other people think and know. But innovation, inspiration, in, yeah, inspiration, imagination, and your talents are all free-flowing energy. We're actually flowing energy, and we're not have anything to do with the thinking and knowing. And if you really look at the world and all the schooling and all the education, how are we stuck in yesterday? And something else, education, thinking and knowing has you stuck in yesterday, and you can never think and know in the here and now. You can think and know yesterday, but in the here and now, because the here and now is unrehearsed, unedited, uneducated, unexplainable, and unexperienced life events, counters, uh, experiences, and out of everywhere dares. I'm going to say that again. Because my here and now is unrehearsed, unedited, uneducated, unexplainable, unexperienced events, encounters, experiences, and out of everywhere dares to rise me out of my self-controlled crap. Basically, that's what we do is think and know is a good thing. But when we think and know and stay inside our own crap, that's when we be, get into the rat-a-tat torment of ourselves so how can you how why do we try to put an educated world into an unrehearsed uneducated unedited unexplainable and unexperienced events how is the word experience you know we use experience this is what i experienced how does that keep us locked and blocked in yesterday because we're trying to do it the same way. And we never ask the question to rise. You're going to question your way out of everything. You're going to think and know your way to yesterday. I want that to deal, even in business. How's everything you think and know about your business your biggest limitation? Because business is what everybody else has trained you to do. Now, entrepreneur, that comes from the gold, gold vein of, of visionary epiphanies, and that's right here. See, we, our body is the freedom of ourselves. The wisdom and stuff comes from the, basically you can say it comes from the earth and the heavens, as everything and think and know comes from the outside world. And here's the thing about your unique talents, inspiration, innovation, inventor's lure, all the free-flowing energy is above and beyond socialized brainwashing and the thinking, knowing mind trying to learn from a book that has nothing to do with the situation, knowledge, and all your thoughts are formulated from yesterday and what I learned from other people because education is all secondhand information with an underlying current of a hidden agenda by a trolling, controlling society. So, as I rocketed out of the overthinking, stinking, selfish stubbornness of me having to be right about everything, hard headedness, that all passed out of my life. That's not true. But I'm trying to mosey it out. You know, it's kind of like herding cattle. It, it it don't want to go. Sometimes you have to give it a little kick in the in the in the butt, so it'll strut away, or I can strut away. As I instantly cast away being a servant to my habits and past, something I really understand. I've opened up to understand habits come from your inner dialogue and your subconscious, but they're part of your thinking, knowing mind. 
So that left me all about a minute ago. And see, something, when you want to let something go, you want to do it close to here and now. That way it moves on in a better way. As, as I rose of rebellious, optimistic, unabashed, sovereign, and gendering gumption, I now understand and admire my liminal listening. Liminal is above the threshold of what I've always done. Hearken the steaming savvy of my heart and soul that rises from my daily encounters, experience, and events, and out of everywhere awakenings. Everything in your present moment right here is an awakening to rise you out of the yesterday. See, if you look at today and and all this, all your schooling has been from yesterday. And there's and we're all stuck. I call it I was stuck in my male ego noise. I call it my male ego stupidity, actually, because I was too stubborn and hard headed, thought I know everything, my egotistical arrogance. I had to get revenge on everything. The only thing I got revenge on was my desired lifestyle. The only person I ever got revenge on is me. When I awakened to that, I thought, well, that's not right. But it is the nowality of life. If you listen to the media, we never get out of yesterday. And we never get out of the, the rat-a-tat torment of what somebody else thinks. And as long as they got us thinking their way, who's living in the stink of their, the stench of their knowledge? The more you're willing to rise of wisdom, insight, clarity, innovation, inspiration, innovation, spirit, prowess, heart, chutzpah, soul, savvy, and your sovereign valor, the one you're liberating is you. See, I never do coaching. I do liberation. And since I've been rising of revelations and and uh, sovereignty and and um, liberation, I've really rose out of the many movies of yesterday. See, thinking and knowing is nothing more than a mini movie of yesterday or what you've always done in your life. However, when you have an awakening that entertains. Your inner rising revelation energizes your spine tingling trendsetter acumen, instantly entertains the brain's bright regal adventures, imaginative wizardry, natural splendor within you, designing and coloring your featureless canvas of your subconscious scenery. You become the Picasso of your life, and you color that deal, and you you make. And you illuminate the desire, your desired life with the images, descriptions of, your, of whatever you want. And make the panoramic movies of your here and now that, uh, that, uh, that neons the omniscient wanderer's curiosity that rose from you and rose you out of your thinking memory minds, binded in knowledge and everything you learned, in indoctrinated education, egotistical arrogance, ancestors' mindsets. To understand and admire, I will listen, observe, and witness and question my way onto my streets of fancy free sprees of spirit poise. Revolutionizes emancipating elegance. Dance me on to my avenues of awesome as I am free flowing energy gliding about gliding out of my thinking knowing memory minds unwinds my divine daredevilry chauffeurs me on to my beaches of serene relaxation now and forevermore I enjoy my sovereign liberation that's something I really want to express to people you're a sovereign uh spirit and a sovereign spirit uncontrolled by outside sources 
and unattached to it. As liberation rises you out of the control of yourself. The biggest manipulator in your life is you. When you manipulate yourself from the socialized way of life, you rise of your sovereign, liberating ingenuity. Because life is an invitation fostering emancipating, energized events and encounters. But we're so stuck in trying to fit into a society of socialized, uh, I call it socialized sabotage, because they want you to fit in, and then you listen to the media and the school and everything. They want you to fit right into their programming. That's why when I hear a word called program, it stays right at a high rate of speed. Because when somebody says program, that's their viewpoints, opinions, beliefs, knowledge, thinking, knowing. There is no liberation and no zero innovation in a program. And you will never listen and hear and think and know at the same time. But you can listen for the wisdom, but you can never think and know wisdom because it's a natural flow within yourself. So when I rise. And this, I must say this slow, So, and I've done this many times. We're going to say think, uh, know, listen, knowledge, and thoughts. So I'm going to go slow. Say think, know, listen, knowledge, and thoughts. What did you feel? Whatever you feel, you feel. Now we're going to say the words inspiration, understand, comprehend, wisdom, and revelations. So when you say the word, now say wisdom. No, say the word inspiration, understand, uh, comprehend, wisdom, and revelations, and whatever you feel. You feel, think, know, learn, and knowledge all have representations in your subconscious mind. Inspiration, understand, comprehend, wisdom, revelations. That's free flowing energy for you to take your flight of life, feeling the liberation of your heart and soul, show for you through life in a bold way. And that is why we rise out of thinking, knowing. We rise out of our thinking, knowing mind to unwind our innovative divine daredevilry to set ourselves free from ourselves. And it's a very simple saying. Laugh at me, I liberate me from me to understand I'm grand with a dreamer's dexterity to experience my life my way. And I want to thank you. I am Robert A. Wilson. And we'll be here tomorrow night with I ain't sure what it is, but thank you.